Hello guys, I'm here on my boat again and um, I have a little nifty instrument in my hands. Uh, I've done a similar review before uh, of a similar instrument but this one seems to be a little bit more uh, advanced and um, we'll get into it in a bit. Well, um, what I have here is called the Orthofix BT1 Lite. It's uh, supposed to be a very small instrument, handy to have around in your toolbox or your back pocket on your vehicle. Now, the reason why I think this kind of instrument is useful is because the normal multimeter or voltmeter testing of a battery uh, can easily give you uh, a voltage of above 12 volts. At the same time, the battery cells are actually dead and shot. So you'd be led to believe that your battery is still in good condition uh, without knowing that the problem you're having on your vehicle with the power or starting is actually from the battery and that's why these types of instruments are actually very good now this uh, instrument in particular can be used in the vehicle and out of the vehicle and it's paired to your smartphone uh, with Bluetooth and you can run a deal of diagnostics there. Now, I have not used it myself yet and I can't wait to start. But before we do so, let's look at the packaging. It seems to be well packed. It's made by a company, like I said, uh, Orthofix. And um, it is CE certified. So there must be some European standards that it has to... Um, uh, to 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 satisfy before it can be sold here and it's powered by Autel. We open the box and uh, yes it's properly packed it's not your just carefree uh, item there's a nice little wallet here and in the wallet you have a little card with with contacts, uh, help lines in North America, China, Latin America, and Europe. And uh, what's this? It's a quick start user manual. You download the app and what the LEDs are supposed to stand for. Now, uh, from what I can gather, uh, we'll find out, this is designed to test 6 volts 12 volts uh, batteries and also 24 volt cranking uh, systems now so it's quite versatile now this is quite sturdy it looks like something that can take a lot of uh, impact and uh, the two alligator clips as solid I can tell you so so far packaging lovely product quality Visually looks lovely. I can't wait to go into the uh, nitty-gritty of how the instrument works and uh, let's see what we can uh, Get from that uh, here in a bit All right now to use the battery tester you would need uh, to install an app and you can do it on uh, an Android or an iPhone uh, platform you can do it on an iPad, tablet, or phone, whatever you want to do. And this is a, an old Android phone I have, uh, which I use for diverse things. So I go to the Play Store. I go up there, and it's the app is called Battery Test. And it's this one, made by Autel, 2019. And uh, I install it. Now, there's a little detail with the app. The little detail is that when you install the app, you're going to have to register an account. And that's something I'm not really too much for, that you have to register an account with them before you can use the app. But um, apparently you have to do that. It's not difficult. It just requires you registering uh, the app and then you're clear to go. All right. The app is now installed, so I can now open it. And that's when it asks me to register or log in with the email address and a password. So I just log in now so you can see how the app 
uh, looks. All right, well, I've logged in now and you can see the Autofix BT1 Lite. There's a column there for the in-vehicle test, the out-of-vehicle test. You can see your history, what you've tested, and uh, the repair reports. Um, here you can see your account. You can update the app if need be. It's checking, and that's the latest version. And uh, that's a home view again. So that's about the app, how you uh, get started. But now I'm doing an in-vehicle test. And what I've done is that I've just connected the device to my battery. And it asks me to pair. And uh, that's the BS manager. And you can see the phone found the, the unit. And I just clicked on it and it paired quite easily. And as you can see, the status light is blinking and the power light is blinking. The status light is blue and the power light is green. And all I did was just, I just put the two alligator clips on the plus and the minus of my battery. Now remember, this is an in-battery test. So I go into the test. So I choose the in-vehicle test. Oh, it asks me to update. So I'll just do that and get back. Well, I decided you might as well see me update. So I go to the update. It's possibly the firmware that needs to be updated. And as you can see, it's working there. I, th I thought it's better you see it because it will likely do the same with you. And uh, as I mentioned, this is an Android device, but you can also do it with an Apple device. <clears throat> so. That should be done. Let's see if it can, if there's further, no. We go back to the home page. We're going to the in-vehicle test. And as you can see, Autel has a disclaimer there about use of the product, where they take out all liability and the usual legal stuff. Click for accept. Oh, we'll have to that I've read it and accept and uh, it's loading the program now it's asking me for the vehicle information the VIN number and the make and uh, the type of the battery so I'll just put that in and uh, we'll continue the video from there I'm gonna try doing it without inserting all this information because I cannot see how that can be relevant so what we're going to do is I'll just choose my type of battery and as you can see here the information is always written on this label of the battery so what I have is an AGM battery and what's very important is the is this uh, CCA the cranking amps and this is CCA EN 760 sometimes it's written MCA and sometimes it can be written in other versions SAE and CA and all that but you just copy exactly what's on your battery so I've chosen CCA, so as you can see there, and then it was 760. And that's so that the test device tests it according to the expected uh, capacity that's supposed to come out of, of that type of battery. So I'll put it on 760. It's a little bit difficult to do it with one hand, but success. And I go next. And it tells me now, turn off all electrical accessories, turn off ignition, and close all vehicle doors. And I've done that, and I say start. I say check, check, check. Now, that will be a test to see whether I can do it without all the information. Test. And uh, it seems to be working. Already 90%. 100%. Good. Recharge. So it's, it says it's... It's actually a, a, a good battery. The state of health, SH, SOH, is 100% uh, life. State of charge is 71%. I just drove the car uh, about uh, half an hour ago with uh, the air condition on because it's very hot now. It's summer. That's the resting voltage, 12.56. And that's the measured capacity. Now, note the measured capacity is 676. Ideally, it's supposed to be 760. Ah, no, it's uh, 
the capacity is, is 760 and uh, the temperature is 41 degrees like I mentioned the engine is hot because I just used it the most important thing is that it says my state of health is a hundred percent so uh, what th happens when I say continue it tells me to make sure the ignition is off so it start testing now it's asking me to start the vehicle and after I start the vehicle I guess it's going to test the cranking uh, how the, the what the effect of the a crank on on the battery has maybe it will also test the starter I don't know well let's find out it's asking me to start the vehicle so I'll start it and get back to videoing so what it did was it uh, has tested the starting voltage when I cranked it and uh, it tells me that my cranking voltage is normal and the starting time was 0.63 seconds I press continue it says turn off all electric appliances and press continue everything is off I think I have to be in the vehicle for this so I just put it there now it tells me to put on my rpms between two to three thousand and press continue and I've just done that release the accelerator and press continue Turn on electric appliances like headlamps and so on and press continue. So I've just put on my headlamps now. I'll just put on the, the air condition. Press continue. Keep the engine between 2000 and 3000 RPM. And press continue. Release the accelerator and press continue. Turn off the ignition and electric appliances and press continue. So I put them off, off, and off, and off, and press continue. All right, now that's interesting. So it has tested the battery at resting state. It has tested the cranking ability uh, the starter and how the battery responded to it and then it also tested the alternator and it tells me whatever ripple means my non-load voltage was 14.4 and my load voltage was 14.27 volts and uh, if you press the arrow there you can see where you're lying whether it's green in the normal range red too low or red too high so i i i am lying where it should and as you can see my battery is now certified green not only my battery my battery my starter and my alternator tests are all good so uh there was a button for report i saw where you could uh, print out a report but uh, this, so it in the history, I can see here, it shows I've done a test. The date, it tells me my battery had a good result, a good recharge. And uh, aha, that's if I'm testing multiple vehicles, then uh, I can put in the model and the VIN number. But I have only two cars, of which I, I should be able to remember what I'm testing. Um, this is actually a very nice appliance, and I could also use it on my boat. Um, I'd like to test a battery out of a vehicle and we'll just do that and see what it says what we do is we open the app and we choose 
out of vehicle test. Now it's loading the diagnostic program. We have to tell it what kind of a battery it is. And um, I just have to look. It's a normal flooded battery with 580 amps. So it's flooded. EN 580. There. Then we tell it to test. So it says testing, that was quick. So this battery is an extra one I just have lying down and mind you, it says it's 12 volts. So when you test it with the voltmeter or multimeter, it'll tell you it's 12.4 volts, 12.5 volts, and you think it's a good battery, but look at it state of health it tells you replace the battery so don't be deceived just because a battery has enough volts it could actually have uh, problems internally and would let you down when you need it the most and as you can see there it tells me the battery is no good with a red x over it you can see the measured capacity is only 310 amps and the capacity should have in 580 and the temperature is 27 degrees like I said it's a very hot day and uh, that's about it this um, auto fix light is uh, a step up uh, over the previous battery test I have it seems to be able to give a little bit more information uh, than the one I had it is powered by the Autel uh, software company and um, overall I I like it so it's a thumbs up I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you liked what you saw remember to leave a thumbs up uh, down in the description of the video I'll leave a link uh, to the product and a discount code so you can get um, a percentage off and um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, see you next time bye